founder, TED talker, author, YouTuber, podcaster, investor, and most recently Dragon. This is our story of how we booked a meeting with Stephen Bartlett with one photo. Back in 2018, when we started our agency, we'd reached the limit of the amount of Gary Vee videos we could consume. This is when we came across Everyday Steve. This guy was running a 200 plus social media marketing agency, had global client, a slide in his office, and he was documenting his whole journey. We became fascinated with his social change story and just the pure amount of work and dedication he put into building his agency. I literally fucking bleed my eyes out seven days a week and I have done for three or four years. Okay, that one's a bit extreme. From then on out, YouTube, as they do, start hitting us with all of their Steve Bartlett related content. I even remember watching a video of his where he was in a pitch and he made that company trend throughout the meeting. It's pretty impressive. At this point, we were about six months into our agency journey. We had hired our first team member, Jason, and we had just got our first office, which borderline a fire hazard. Fast forward six months, we had five team members, a slightly bigger office, but still no windows. Now that we had our feet under the table, we decided it was time to reach out to see to say thanks for being so transparent in this journey. Best case scenario, we were looking for a few words of advice. As I've only sent about five cold emails in my life, I decided that sending an email to his crowded mailbox wasn't gonna cut it. Also, as an inbound agency, I decided I was better placed to get his attention through more creative outlets. We decided to dedicate our first year to Steve. Top of that, we always joke that we should get a slide for our office as well, so, that's exactly what we did. And here's the photo. Apparently, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. It cost about £17.50 and took about two minutes of time to pull off and it achieved the results that we were looking for. It got some great engagement. Steve commented, inviting us up to Manchester and even shared it on his Instagram. I mean, look at these laughy faces. Life was good. Sophia's PA got in contact and arranged everything and we even bought our train ticket to Manchester. And then this happened. Good evening. The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. Instead of going and pushing a virtual call with Steve, which I'm sure we could have done, I thought it'd be quite cool to meet him in person. Call me old school. But since we last spoke with Steve and Sophie, so much has changed in not only our world, but mainly in Steve's world. Since then, he's become one of the top business podcasts out there and he's become the youngest ever dragon. So while I've considered just replying to that previous email and trying to rebook it back in, I feel like the bar has been raised from where it was previously. Also, where's the fun in that? Since then, we've hired loads of great new team members and moved into a bigger office which even has windows. So as we approach our 40th anniversary, I think it's time to add some new additions to our office. It worked last time to get Steve's attention, so there's no point in fixing what's not broken. But let's get started. First off, let's go and see which picture we can mimic this time. All right, let's do a general search. Steve Bartlett, businessman. Seems like him. Images. Ah, here we go. Right, got a couple options here. This one. Nah, this one looks way better. Right, I think we have found our winner. Right, fine, let's go order this stuff. Oh, yes. How big is this one? Six foot, kid slide. Will that fit in my car? Yeah, that is an absolute winner. Kind of good in the office. Slight upgrade from the slider last time as well, so add that to the trolley. It's new shopping. And while I'm here, let's look for a bull pit. Yeah, I don't think that's very big. Yeah, but even the baby makes it look a bit small. Ah, it's the only option. We're going for it. Cool, looks like the stuff's arrived. Hi, Gary. Time to set it up. I definitely thought that slide was going to be bigger. But all in all, not a bad addition to the, to the break room. Yeah, I should have got more balls as well. Right, 
Right, done. Next thing to do is post it on LinkedIn and tag Steve. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And Steve, if you are watching and you do have a couple of Diary of a CEO US tickets going free, then it's only a seven hour flight for us. So it would be great to come by. If anyone wants to follow along with the story, I'll put a link to my LinkedIn profile in the description below. If I do end up going to New York, then obviously I'll document the journey and upload it here so you guys can follow along with that. So make sure you subscribe if you feel like it and go and follow my LinkedIn profile. Have a great week guys. Thank you so much for watching. Speak to you soon.